somehow it 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 looked easy but it wasn't that easy because chemel is my hometown but i didn't want to go there because my dad was working at chemel so it will be like he's signing his son so i didn't like want the critics but because of coach baraza he wanted to sign me when i was still in high school but uh my parents couldn't allow it until i had to finish school first so fortunately i the moment i was clearing school he was in chemel so he kind of convinced me to sign for my home team okay. yeah. uh when you wanted to sign you when you in school which club did you want to now he was in mohoroni uh, and then moved to western steamer yeah. uh, how was it uh, blending in at chemel i'm sure you uh, very senior players in defense James Omino yeah. Samuel Rwanda how was it landing here yeah i think it was easy because it was my my home my home team so during the holidays when we were like when i was at home i was training with them so they were familiar faces but this time around it was like a, yes i was training with them but it was on a different capacity now we were like supposed to do the same job not just training for the sake of training so but i think they were friendly people and like they were accommodative so it kind of was easy to fit in uh you, you settled in very well at uh, chemelin and in your <laughs> first season surprisingly you start playing in the first eleven yeah. is it something that you expected or it came too soon for you yeah i mean i can say i was fortunate to go to a great school as well uh, that gave us the exposure and like the confidence at an early age so and also the coaches i had and the teammates i had they they kind of helped us like to to come in and settle in so that yes there's pressure in the team but you don't feel it because there's somebody else taking like uh, handling the pressure you have the freedom to play uh, to play freely to express yourself so because of the management like uh, the officials and the players so they kind of helped us to to feel like yeah there's pressure but let us deal with the pressure you just feel free and play your game about the history of the players down in south africa so it didn't bother me that much so when uh, you arrived there the first few months how are they the, your first professional yeah. out, uh, outing and uh, in a foreign country all by yourself i think at that time you were 20 19 19 yeah. <laughs> imagine 19 years yeah. in a foreign land all by yourself <laughs> how was it Uh, at first it was kind of difficult uh even if it's not just because i was still young and stuff but it's just being on a foreign line is kind of hectic but the fact that i was like already friends with mandela made it a bit easier because we are not in the same city but we most of the time he was the only person i could talk to so that one ha- kind of helped me to settle in and uh, did he advise you on matters like the demands of this league this yeah. you should do in certain situations yeah. how helpful was he until now i think we are friends because of that yeah because he was there before me he had the experience and all this but just the fact that he was giving me heads up uh, i think that was key and yeah i appreciate him for that how, how long did it take you to before you played your first game No, before I was in this match squad, I think it was like three games uh, because I was still working on the paperwork. And I don't know if the sixth or the seventh game. Yeah. Then you start playing for Free State Stars. Yeah. How was the experience for a league, different environment? Yeah. Yeah, it, it was exciting, but at the same time it was challenging because the intensity is different. Uh, the quality of players was different and they like tons of experience and stuff and i was just like 6 months old in the league in the kenyan league so yeah it was exciting it's a new challenge but also hectic try to catch up with the intensity but, yeah um you, you look at uh, the progression from yeah. free street stars you you now come into the first eleven and you you now are regular in the team yeah um you had to leave the team at some point what yeah. happened and uh, <laughs> were you disappointed at how it happened yeah i think we had like 
a terrible season, if I can say. Uh, we had like uh, four coaches in one season, one interim. So three coaches plus one interim is like four coaches in one season. And then I come, uh, I was in, with the national team. When I went back, we had a new management again. So when I arrived, he was already training with the team and he thought I couldn't fit in the plans and they wanted to loan me out but I thought I had a chance in the team and if I have to go on loan I want to be in the first division not in the second division and if it's second division it should be a top team in the second division but uh, the club wasn't offering that was like I have to go to a team promoted to the second division and I thought it's, it's not worth it so I was like I think I can fight for my position in the team but if they think otherwise then I also think otherwise I don't want to go on loan on the just promoted team in the second division that's why I decided like yeah mutual termination so how long was the deal my contract yes I had two years so I already finished one it was two plus one so I already finished the first year and I extended the exercise the option so I had two more years so in your second year you said if I don't remain then yeah. they may go back to Kenya. Yeah. So you come back to Kenya and <laughs> your, your journey is so interesting <laughs> because you come back to Kenya yeah. then after a few months you are on the plane now to USA. Yeah. How, 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 how was it for you? Because I, I believe um, when, you, when you go to South Africa now you, you get the feeling that my career is finally taking off. Yeah. Then now you're going to USA, which most people here local, you know, everybody talks about Europe, Europe, yeah. Europe. So going to US, sure. uh, how did you take that challenge when it was first uh, mentioned to you by your handlers? Uh, at first, when I left South Africa, I stayed for long, actually. I stayed for a couple of months without playing. I think it was almost going to a year, a wow. couple of months. But yes, I had the offers I had interest to go like immediately after I left South Africa but I don't think it was the right thing to do because to go where at that time the offers still in South Africa and I had like in Zambia as well so I was like no I don't think it's I'm in the right state of mind to to take it so I just decided to stay home to clear my head because coming from a season with four coaches I didn't have like a lot of play time. I, I only played eight games in South Africa. And then the management, the club says they want me to stay, but the coach thinks otherwise. I won't fit on the plans. And I'm supposed to go on loan, so I decided like, no. I'd rather just sit home, clear my head first until I have interest to play again. Then. So th th this, this time you're saying, uh you, you've stayed, you've left South Africa, yeah. you've stayed out for almost a year. Mm -hmm. um, mentally, yeah. can you say you are, because you've said you didn't think you are in the right state of mind. Yeah. What, did you fight depression at that time? Or are you thinking so hard and wondering what's next in my career? Or what was going through you? No, I just lost interest in football, like competitively. So I was just training for fun. Yeah. And uh, you're saying you lost interest in football. Can you say? Can you tell me more about it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the the things going on were just like overwhelming. So I just thought like, yeah, I see I can play in the team. They think otherwise, and I'm like, yeah, I can compete even if I can't play in the first team, but I can compete for my place. But they think otherwise, and it's not like they they are giving me a chance. No, they're just like, no, you can't fit in the plans. You have to go. But I was like, no, I think I can fight for my chance. So I was like, yeah, if you think I'm this terrible, then let me just take a break. So you decided to take a break from football. Yeah. And uh, at that point, did you feel like the earth is coming down on you or things are not going according to plan? No, I just felt calm because there's nobody putting pressure on you. you, you don't have demands, so like you need to perform every day, you need to perform in training, no. Everything is just okay. Because I'm home, I'm with the family, and you get to see your family every day. I've been like a year 
without seeing them so i'm like yeah let me take this time and enjoy it with them so there's no pressure yes maybe at times you feel like yeah time is moving and i need to to resume working and you are spending and you don't know where the next income will come from so that's the only pressure you i feel but i'm also enjoying the time with the family because i've not been with them for a while but it was also calming because you don't feel pressure that you have to deliver or perform every day in training and fight for like play time and stuff no just clear your head so that that break of almost a year out yeah. helped you with the, with your mental health yeah uh, okay mm. so that time you in south africa when uh, these changes were happening and you're being told you can't fit in mentally yeah. you can say you are really struggling i was really struggling because i have like i was still young and you have like four coaches by the time you are adjusting to catch up with with the philosophy of this coach he's gone another one comes in you have two games with him you are trying to adjust he's gone again so it was it was like a lot of like uh, ups and downs so kind of difficult to fit in so you you stay for a year out and uh, now you've made your up your mind that yeah you want to go to the US now yeah after you've taken a break and cleared your mind yeah uh what was what what would you say was uh, your mission on a personal level i know many people probably questioned that yeah. move but on a personal level did you mm. feel it was good for you and what was going through your mind when you accepted i think it was personally was the best thing for me yeah it, it didn't look right but i thought it was the best thing or the right thing to do because i lost interest in football and if i go to top team or like a team that's demanding i can either crumble again or i can come back to the level but there's a lot of pressure with it and if i don't catch up immediately then i'm going down the drain but yes if i perform then everything goes back to normal but so i chose to go to the us because it's a place where i'll be playing and i won't have like pressure i'll i'll fall back in love like to playing football so rather than going to where i'll feel the pressure i'm going to where i'll be having fun and regain the confidence back because i didn't have the confidence to play anymore so i was playing yes every every week and yes the level is kind of low it's not like the highest but you have the game time you're having fun and you're gaining the confidence back so that's why i thought it's, it's the right step to take um you go to us uh, i remember your first club in the us was anbor yeah very little known club of yeah. course in uh, kenya but you you correctly put it that it gave you some peace of mind yeah. and uh, allowed you to you know rediscover yourself yeah um the the the, the system in the us and yeah. the facilities did they also play a part in you you know bulking up because having stayed for almost a year without playing football yeah. you also need to train at a very high level yeah of personal training yeah but when i was still here i was still training i was training with jamali sugar because i had like yeah it's my home <laughs> team i can go and train with them yeah anytime but also going there yes they have the facility and gladly i had like amazing coaches as well so it wasn't so difficult for me to to fit in and to to stop playing so from anbor to real monarchs yeah uh the transition was it uh, almost uh, seamless because it's same country same just a slightly higher level yeah but because my management then was like based in the us so after uh we finished the season in anaba then i think i had i played well i have a, a good season then yeah they kind of scouted me and they decided like yeah they can bring me to their books and that's how it just happened so in us you played two seasons one at anaba and the other one at yeah. real monarchs yeah but in the first one wasn't like a is like a semi pro so it wasn't like a but then they were in the semi pro it, it wasn't like a normal regular season where it's like the whole year it's just like a summer league so it's just a couple of months it's not the the whole year so 
from there now you you you, you go to Monax and yeah. uh, good level. Yeah. Uh, the the US uh, style of play and uh, the intensity at the at that level because I know they are so deep on sports science, yeah. and physiology. Yeah. W- w- did you feel like you you're in a different uh, environment completely with Monax? Uh, not really, because I was like down in south, so I already experienced like high intensity. So by coming this other side, it was like, yeah, okay, it's almost on the same level. So it didn't like uh, take a stall on me. It it was just like, yeah, I come in. It's just you just need to work on the fitness too much. Uh, the other players. And once that happened, like to to catch up with the intensity wasn't that difficult. A good season at Monarchs. And yeah. Europe comes calling now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, you made the decision to go to Elfsburg. Yeah. Uh, at that point, did you feel you are ready now to play at European level? Yeah, I think so. Because when I made the decision to start playing again, I already made the choices. Like, yeah, I think now I have the mentality and I have the, like, the courage and confidence to go back in playing football and so when it came I was like yeah I take the chance and go and compete 